This is the new clip sequencer. By selecting multiple clips and adding them to the sequencer list, uh, you can then specify the blend times and generate a new clip of the combined animations. Adding this to the scene, you can see the animations play as a single animation. From here I'm going to record a short walking sequence. Uh, it's just a few steps forward. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, actually repeat the animation multiple times so that the character walks a greater distance. So I've just added that uh, animation to the list and have added it to the sequencer multiple times as you can see. And after creating a single animation you can now see this character Now you'll see uh, the uh, repeated walk sequence here. So that's one. That's the next. And it just continues to repeat. Uh, so let me um, do that one more time. see this is the first animation clip and it blends into the second and from here it blends into um, a third animation and then into the walk sequence so it's almost seamless uh, it really depends on how you um, start and end the animations. There is also a um, mouse UI here. From here we can uh, see the individual clips. So I'm going to add a few clips uh, to the sequencer, this one being the uh, first clip. Um, the, this one is the walking clip, actually, where the character is just walking. So I'll repeat that a couple of times. For the first sequence, it's going to blend very quickly, about a quarter second. And uh, now I'll generate that, place it in the scene and start the animation sequence. So you should see a composite animation of multiple repeated walk sequence here. Uh, he's playing one of the original animations, but um, so that's one. That's the next. And it just continues to repeat. then it is possible to export the motion capture uh, directly to Blender 